All right, so I wanted to discuss something uh, that I've noticed. It's not a big problem, but I just wanted to discuss it about Echo Link. All right, so you guys know that when you, uh, I don't have a microphone here, but, all right, so say this is my microphone right here. Say I say KE0LCL, and then I unkey on Echo Link. And then I hear beep, click, and then it comes back. Did it? 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 And it sends Morse code. There's two ways that I know of to get rid of one, the Morse code, and two, the the beep. The first for the Morse code is turn off the repeater ID. Um, and turn on the, oh, excuse me, the Echo Link Morse code ID, which I think is like 432 hertz at 15 to 20 words a minute or something like that, so, you know. Or if you want to do the voice, there's also that option, so it could say, K-E-0-L-C-L -L, Repeater Or you can have it slow or fast So if it's slow, it's K-E-0-L-C-L -L, Repeater Or if you do it fast, then it just blurts it out K-E-0-L-C-L -L, Repeater um, But that's the first thing The second thing that my experience would be is the beep, there's a section, if, since you're running, <sighs> yeah. excuse me, running sysop mode, there's a, a section, I forget what it's called now, but you can go in there and edit it. So let's say if I wanted to take what it says on IRLP and says, uh, for example, splice some audio together. K-E-0-L-C-L, -L, link active uh, for link up, then I could do that. And then if I wanted to uh, disconnect it, you know, I could punch something in on an online voice thing and say, link down or link disconnected something like that and then the same thing goes for the connect disconnect link up link down profile whatever else is in there i forget so the courtesy tone now that's in the controller and I, uh, that has to be disabled but i forget how and there's a certain way i believe it's a uh, cos or CSO, I think. Either either way, carrier over squelch. So you're gonna want to select that option. Most people select Vox, and what happens is they have to crank up the audio really loud. And uh, what ends up happening is, let's say, let's say I'm on one four six five fifty uh, alternate simplex to five twenty. I key up uh, with a 100 hertz tone, but until I start speaking, it's going to clip off the first word, even if you have it set right. So what most people do is they turn it up just enough, where you'll hear that mmm PL tone, and you'll, uh, when you go to speak, uh, unless if you add key, then you're not going to do that. If they use DPL, then that's kind of a problem, but if you listen through headphones, you'll have a sound. So that sound is the uh, the bits, the data, being transmitted. And then when you unkey, instead of that you'll have a sound if you listen. Uh, so you'll hear the data, and then a sound. That means the data is ceased transmitting. And like a DPL where you unkey and there's a <coughs> sound. 
So, you want to set your setting to C C T S C O S, I think it is. So that way, when it detects the carrier, and there is ways to do it, controller output of the radio, microphone jack speaker jack on the radio if equipped so you run you you look at your pin pin out you run that from whichever radio you're going to use usually the transmitter you run that into your uh, echo link interface if possible hmm. and then what you do is as soon as you key up what should happen if you have it configured correctly so say I key up on echo link we'll just do this for a moment ke0 lco and I don't push the button to unkey what should happen is as long as whoever's connected stays keyed up It'll keep the transmitter keyed up, and thus whoever's on the other end, uh, listening, will hear a dead carrier. Until they unkey, or they're disconnected, blah blah blah. So, the other thing you need to be able to do, uh, even though this is a third thing not related, is say I'm keyed down, and I don't know it, say I'm just sitting here watching TV, or playing my game and that comes across well what needs to be able to happen is say uh, say this is my radio uh, yeah I know it's a remote but it's still got numbers on it so say I needed to disconnect well for example we'll use IRLP because this doesn't have pound and star I need to be able to over one override the signal if possible which is why if you use a separate transmit site the power should be just enough to get in be just strong enough where there's a little static the reason I say a little static is say for example I'm keyed up saying something like uh, yeah this guy you know he's you know being a jerk and nobody likes him and I think I'll go pay him a visit, blah, 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 you know, something like that. So, what you're going to want to be able to do is be able to key up, say, on a base, like that, and then push, for example, 7, 3. And if you're strong enough to override it, although that's usually not how it works, you can... Uh, bring it down now the other more common way to do it is say I'm on right here on my computer or say I'm on my tablet and the computer I'm using now to film this is the echo link node well then I could just sit here type in a few things on my tablet or my phone and then walk in view the screen of the echo link computer with a VPN or a, a N NTC viewer, I think. And then uh, just click on it. So, you know, access of my mouse, my keyboard, all that good stuff. So, click on the Echo Link application, disconnect the station, connect it. That would be the simpler way to do it than have to try and override the RF signal. And there's a number of other ways to do it, but mm, I just wanted to mention a few points on that. Um, and also, while I'm thinking of it, you can actually take a bell thing. You have to re... Hmm. So sorry for yawning today. Take a bell thing. As long as you have an older computer that has two connections on it, or you can buy a sound card. You take the microphone and hook it to the speaker jack of the bell thing. 
or the microphone jack. So basically, you take the audio from the computer, hook it into the microphone jack on the bell thing. The audio output of the computer. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Got that backwards. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll get it. I did a video on this. Um, the speaker out from the computer goes into the microphone of the radio. So say, for example, even though it, this is technically a rule, say I call NASA and they let me go on 145-800 to talk to the astronauts and I need to wake them up. Well, that's considered a one-way transmission. Unless you know, specially authorized remote control, blah, 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 blah. So what you do is the audio would come from here, go into the radio with Fox on, probably on the setting of 9 to 10, and then it's going to have a delay, so it's going to cut off the last part, the first part of what's coming out. So, say it's Fly Me to the Moon by Frank Sinatra. Well, it... The first part, fly, I would get cut off. Anyway, so you take the speaker of the computer, plug it into the microphone jack. Then the speaker of the radio goes into the microphone jack on the computer. So they're crisscrossed. Um, the opposite goes into the opposite on the radio. Speaker, microphone, microphone, speaker. And then you got to adjust it. You got to adjust not only the audio coming into the echo link, but you also have to adjust the audio on the radio. Because if you don't, then it's going to sound bad. So basically, how you control the volume of the echo link is. There should be a little slider somewhere on your computer, usually down at the bottom right. And you usually turn that to about, depending on the radio and what you have it set to, 30%, 40%, 50 yeah, percent is kind of pushing it, depending on how loud or soft you talk microphone, external microphone, blah, 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 mobile radio, etc., etc. So then you're going to dial 9999, connect to the test server, and see how long, uh, test your audio settings. If everything sounds good there, connect up to your favorite Echolink simplex node and or repeater and say, for example, KE0LCL requesting a audio check on key that's not the correct way to do it but that's about the best way to do it and then wait for somebody to come back if nobody comes back keep trying other places and that about concludes this video thanks for watching i hope uh, this is some useful information for you guys